Let's speak now to Sven Titol. He is the director of Klima 2020, a climate consultancy and communications firm based in Norway. He joins us now. You're actually in Nairobi, Kenya, of all places. Thanks so much for speaking to us. We appreciate it. I mean, this is amazing because now we're actually seeing temperature records broken on both ends of the planet where massive ice sheets are melting. I mean, I was wearing a T-shirt. I'm not joking. A T-shirt in Greenland in May when I was there, and it's even warmer now in Antarctica. I mean, it's really shocking, is it not? Well, this is something we actually can expect. Um, if we start with um, the Earth, uh, it has uh, warmed up 1.5 degree in average. But um, uh, it is warming uh, faster in both ends, in Arctic and Antarctica. And uh, through that, we will see more and more temperature records. And what we have seen now in Antarctica is a combination of um, a global warming, which there has been uh, actually three degrees over the last 50 years, and local weather variations. And uh, as a Norwegian, and you talked about wearing a T-shirt in Greenland, uh, we have in January had a number of temperature records in Norway, which is far north, and one of them was actually 25 degrees above average. So this will, um, uh, we will see more and more of those records, and um, uh, the impact from this is uh, dangerous. Uh, uh, in Antarctica, we also see that uh, the, the ocean is warming, and um, uh, now and, and there the ice is on rocks under the water. So uh, researchers they are afraid that the warm warming water that comes in will melt the glaciers from below, and that could cause very high uh, sea level rise. The same thing is happening in Greenland, as you mentioned. And um, the trends now and the new reports that are coming is saying that by the end of the century, maybe we could have a, a sea level rise between um, 80 centimeters and maybe up to two meters because it gets faster than we believed only 10 years ago. So right. yes, the, wor the world is warming up and this is uh, dangerous. And it's not a joke. We're talking about entire countries uh, disappearing countries like the Maldives, you know, with that really sit at sea level, just going underwater entirely. But explain why, because it is confusing for some people. Uh, when we talk about how dangerous melting ice really is, they think of, you know, ice melting in a glass of water, and it doesn't really change the level of the water in the glass that much. But the problem here no, is that no, we that's... have ice melting on top of a landmass in so many cases, which means it's just kilometers. Exactly, yeah. Because, yeah, because where we see the the biggest change that have taken place on the Earth in 30 years is the melting Arctic ice. and But that is not rising the sea level because it is uh, on the ice. But we can see uh, ice-free uh, North Pole in um, the middle of September, maybe 20, 30 years from now. But the but the ice on Greenland and the ice on Antarctica, they are on, on the rocks. So if that is starting to melt, we will see much faster uh, uh, sea level rise. And this will not happen, but just to mention it, if all the ice on the Antarctica was melting down, we would have a sea level rise on 70 meters. And if all the ice on the Greenland was melting down, we would see seven meter sea level rise. But uh, if we have two meter, sea level rise with, within 2,100. Uh, you mentioned the Maldives. The highest uh, point uh, on the Maldives is one, or Mali in right. the capital is 1.5 right. meter about sea level. So this is uh, a country that might disappear and uh, yeah. you cannot build a wall around the Maldives. So they will be climate refugees. And we will see Indeed. more of that in the future. Aswen Tito, thank you so much for joining us there from Nairobi. We, we greatly appreciate it.